Hey guys, it's Gazzy. Welcome to my channel if you're new. Welcome back if you're a seasoned subscriber. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you my weirdest luxury purchases. And let me tell you, there are some really weird items in here. Guys, if you are new here, my name is Cassie. I'm a self-diagnosed luxury addict. I put out videos on Wednesdays and Fridays, so if you like luxury fashion, then you're probably gonna like those too. So head down there, click the red button, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, become a member of our luxury addicted family. When are we going to rehab? Never. Guys, are you ready? Let's go. These are, these are maybe like 10 years old, okay, which is a harrowing thought, but, Basically, Chanel came out with temporary tattoos. And I'm talking like transfer tattoos that you used to do when you were like 12 and you used to think that you were like really cool with like, you know, tribal art tattoo on your arm or whatever. Chanel was out here like, listen, I know you want some double CCs on you. Let's make it happen. I used these and I loved these to death. I'm gonna see if I can find any pictures of me in my, you know, late teen self flexing in these tattoos thinking that I was truly special. Um, <laughs> And I was, just not in the way that I thought I was. Anyway, um, so I miraculously still have some of these. So they had like the Chanel woven chains in here that you could maybe do something here. A sparrow moment. We had little chain links. Honestly, what a move from Chanel. They had like little ones that had the CCs, but I have uh, used all of those up. And I, when I found out that when I tanned, it left the CC outline, I was like, mother effing nailed it. And then a couple of years later, Dior did the same thing. And me and my obsession with um, temporary tattoos, men that I jumped right on it. These are whatever is left, and these were 24 karat gold. Well, these still are. Don't know why I'm going to do this. And what is this very strange looking chap that we have dangling here? Nobody wants him on their body. I mean, creepy little, I don't even know what that is. Um, so yeah, so again, this was a moment that I took full advantage of and is definitely one of the weirdest <laughs> luxury items that I have. Designer temporary tattoos. Honestly, get on it, what a vibe. Less still weird but less so were these Fendi Fendi did a collaboration with Beats headphones and um again once again I thought that this was the best thing to ever happen it came in this wonderful like pebbled leather blue case um and they are like the big the big ass ones the big ones that you know like make you seem like you're like a record producer but you're really not um and I mean, I thought that these were, the, were a vibe and everything. And to be honest, I'm glad I have them because I will never get rid of them. But like, I hardly ever use them because they're wired and like the world has moved on, you know? It's another Fendi item and an item that I was really quite adamant about getting at the time. And this is, um, do we remember when like bag charms were a thing? Bag charms are still a thing to some people, but um, So this was, this was when Fendi made um, Carlito, a small bag charm version of Karl Lagerfeld. This, the, he looks absolutely mental. Like this bag charm looks, he just looks crazily unkempt, okay? This poor man looks like he has been on a constant night out for a month, okay? this. Wow, wow. You know when like somebody's had a really rough night out, you're like, wow, you went balls to the wall on this one and you look like it. Hello, have you ever had a rough night out? Because he looks like he has. Oh, poor Carl, poor Carl, RIP to the real Carl. But you know, this one looks like he's not far off the old RIP either. So Maison Michael or Michelle, I don't know how to pronounce it, is a, a really kind of famous milliner. Okay, this man loves making his hats and also had a range of hairbands that had different animal ears on the top of them. I'm feeling extremely Ariana Grande, dangerous woman, you know? And as much as this is extremely Halloween costume appropriate, in, in what world was this gonna happen? In, you know? There's really not much more to say about this. Arguably save the best for last. This one is really quite something. What is this, you ask? Well, let me tell you. This is a raincoat for your bag. 
allow me to demonstrate. Here I have a bag um, what you're going to do is you're going to put the chain through this little um, slot at the, at the top there and it's just going to hang like a skirt and it's going to protect your bag from the rain. I am equally impressed and horrified by this invention. I think it is the most ridiculous and equally impressive luxury item that I own. <laughs> Guys, do you have any weird things in your collection? And if you do, please let me know down below, okay? I can't be the only one. And if you don't, because you're sensible and normal, let me know what you think about some of mine. I am going to link to something um, much more normal here. Guys, have an amazing morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are, and I will see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye, guys.